people look up into the sky and think these are some little stars. But when you zoom into any one of these stars, these are large astronomical objects which produce tremendous amounts of energy due to the thermonuclear fusion happening at their core. For example, let's check one of the nearby stars that we can see with our naked eye, Betelgeuse. If Betelgeuse was at the center of our solar system, its surface would engulf the orbits of Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. And only about 4,000 to 10,000 of these stars are visible to the naked eye, and all lie within our own galaxy, the Milky Way galaxy. But the Milky Way galaxy is estimated to contain 100 to 400 billion stars. This is where everything starts to appear on a gigantic scale. In 2021, data from NASA's New Horizons Space Probe estimates that there are roughly 200 billion galaxies in the observable universe. With 200 billion galaxies and 100 billion stars per galaxy, the observable universe contains an estimated of 10 to the power 24 stars or trillion trillion stars. And we are sitting in the midst of only one star, the Sun. And with all the space research going around us so far, we appear to be alone in the entire observable universe. But this is just a part of the fascination. Unwinding each variable of the universe will only let us common people know how much we don't know. But are you ready to know more than you currently know in a five-minute period of time? See Jen. Information needed for the hour. Right now we are in this amazing place optimized for living called Earth. As we go back in time, you will see the continents separate and merge together as supercontinents due to the concept of continental drift, and Vobara appears to be the earliest supercontinent. Going back in time from here will take us to the formation of the Earth. At the point of the formation of the Earth, in the galactic time scale, we are in the dark energy-dominated era where the universe gradually begins to accelerate again. From one billion years, stars and galaxies formed and evolved. The earliest confirmed galaxies date from around 380 to 400 million years of the 13.8 billion-year-old universe. Before the formation of galaxies, scientists have figured out phase by phase of what led to this point, and the last known point is that time equals 10 to the power 43 seconds known as the Planck epoch. Even though there are few speculation hypotheses of what could have caused the Big Bang. As of now, we don't know what happened before time equals 10 to the power 43 seconds, or what caused the Big Bang. It is widely hoped that a theory of quantum gravity would allow us to understand the origin of the universe. So what do we really know about us in this galactic time scale? First, let's have a look at what we know about our home, the Earth. Based on the geological time scale, the Earth's history is categorized into four eons. Hadean, Archean, Proterozoic, Phanerozoic. Four billion years ago, Luca the common ancestor of all current life on Earth formed in the high-temperature water of deep-sea vents near ocean floor magma. Following the evolution tree of life from Luca, we can map it to humans who emerged around 300,000 years ago in Africa. But evolution isn't a linear process. In the last 500 million years, we have had 5 to 20 major extinction events, in which 5 of them are classified as the Big Five. Each one of the Big Five extinction events killed at least 70% of the overall species of the time. While, the Permian-Triassic extinction event killed 90% to 96% of all species. But helpful events also occurred for the survival of living organisms on Earth. The formation of the ozone layer around 600 million years ago. But the Earth's atmosphere wasn't always the way it's now. It has changed throughout history. The same with Earth's climate. They alternate between ice ages and greenhouse periods. Below is the list of ice house and greenhouse periods of the Earth. At the beginning of Cryogenian, the most severe glaciation began, freezing the entire Earth, in a planetary state known as a snowball Earth. But humans did evolve during the ice age, the last ice age, and we have had sibling species that evolved before and along with us. They all had different characteristics from us. But Neanderthals were one of the closest species to us because they lived in Eurasia until about 40,000 years ago. The 2010 Neanderthal Genome Project's draft report presented evidence for interbreeding between Neanderthals and modern humans. But only we humans among all the genus of Homo survived to this point, and our evolution can be divided into five periods. Prehistory, Ancient History, Post-Classical History, Early Modern, and Late Modern Period. The few important events that happened in this period in chronological order are Control of fire by early humans, the first known instance of agriculture The rise of early civilization, the development of writing, the development of mathematics, 
The Rise of Territorial States and Empires, The Origin of Islam, The Islamic Golden Age, The Black Death, The Silk Road, Ending of French Revolution, Experimental Science, The Industrial Revolution, World War I, World War II, The Cold War, Hubble's Telescope. Hundred years ago, we thought the Milky Way was the entire universe. But only at the start of the 20th century, Hubble discovered that there are galaxies outside the Milky Way. Right now, we know there are 200 billion galaxies in our observable universe. A galaxy is a gravitationally bound system of stars, stellar remnants, interstellar gas, dust, and dark matter. Stellar remnants are the stars in the end phase of their life and they refer collectively to white dwarfs, neutron stars, and black holes. While dark matter is a hypothetical form of matter thought to account for approximately 85% of the matter in the universe. Just as Earth orbits the Sun, the solar system orbits the center of the Milky Way. Despite hurtling through space at speeds of around 828,000 km per hour, our solar system takes approximately 250 million years to complete a single revolution. Our galaxy, along with Andromeda Galaxy, and a handful of other galaxies, are bound together in what is known as the local group. The local group is part of a larger structure, the Virgo supercluster, and the Virgo supercluster is part of an even larger structure, the Lania Chaos supercluster, which is home to 100,000 other nearby galaxies. Unlike its constituent clusters, Lania Chaos is not gravitationally bound and is projected to be torn apart by dark energy. Dark energy is an unknown form of energy that affects the universe on the largest scales which causes the expansion of the universe to accelerate. Due to the expansion of the universe, 100 billion years from now, only our local group will remain within reach. We are part of this massive structure, and we have no idea what this massive structure is part of or even what is the right question to ask. And in this massive structure, becoming an intelligent life is exceptionally rare. In that intelligent life, you being you is the rarest of rare. In your lineage of all ancestors, if someone married someone else, you are not here. If your parents had married on a different day, you are not here. So if we take every situation to make you, the odds of becoming you is 1 in 10 to the power 2,685,000. Also, once we die, a million years are going to pass easily. Actually, the real data is it is going to take 100 trillion years of the last start to burn out. So try to stay grateful, and definitely stay happy. Experience this amazing life to the fullest. Because it's just one life, and we aren't coming back unless a new technology comes to transfer our consciousness to a machine. Until that, it's just 80 to 100 years in a trillion life expectancy of this universe. If you like this content, and want to be part of producing more content that enhances people's time, click the link below, and see how you can be a part of this. If you are active on social, Follow us on Instagram or Twitter to engage and help us build this brand.